Comedy Keep. You guys having fun so far? Make some noise. Yo, check this out. This comedian coming up is fucking hilarious. Make some noise for Ryan Reed. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Good to be here with you guys. Good to be here. Uh, I see a couple of you guys looking at me, and then you looking at the name in the back, and you're thinking, they spelled fake-ass, broke-looking T.I. motherfucker wrong. <laughs> T.I. with special needs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. I ain't got T.I. money. I ain't even got I.T. money. They loan E.T., goddammit. It's cool to be here. Who lives around here? Anybody live around here? Nobody. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you in the hood. You in the fucking hood, downtown LA. I mean, this place right here, this is cool, but I can't speak for what happens when you leave outside these doors. I don't know about that shit. <laughs> Say the fuck, don't go that way or that way. Just stay here, fuck it, just move in. Yeah, I love to travel, man. Traveling is cool, especially doing comedy, but I, I, us comics, we like to go to areas that we've never really been to before, you know, because those fun shows, you know. Sometimes you get yourself in fucked up situations in these weird areas. You know, I don't, I don't really like to ask people, oh, is it safe around here? Because what's safe for you might not be safe for me. And vice versa. So I travel around a lot. I, I got little things that I look for just to be able to tell myself what's going on. You know, I don't like to ask. So, you know, a good way to be able to tell if you're in a fucked up neighborhood, if a place that doesn't normally sell alcohol is selling alcohol, that's a fucked up neighborhood. I don't care where you are. You should never be able to go to Starbucks and get a shot of tequila. That's some bullshit. <laughs> it's a horrible place. But if you don't want to do that, you know, just, just keep it real. Just go to the gas station. Any gas station, any area, they'll tell you about the area. Let you know all about it. First of all, the sign that faces the street, that lets you know the price of gas, if that sign is missing some numbers, that's a fucked up area over there. <laughs> Especially if it's the digital numbers. Like, how the fuck did the crackheads steal the digital four? They stole all the light bulbs? Motherfuckers ain't shit around here. What I like to do is I like to go to the gas station and ask if I can use the bathroom. It's a good way to be able to tell how safe you are. Because you can always tell if it's good or not, depending on how big the shit the bathroom key is attached to. You ever go to a bad neighborhood? Like, yeah, can I use the bathroom? Lady be like, yeah, yeah, sir, this is the keychain. <laughs> like, bitch, that is a weapon. What the f <laughs> No goddamn keychain. <laughs> what kind of door? Or it'd be like a pipe that's bent with dry blood and shit on there. <laughs> Weird place. You ever notice you go to a real nice neighborhood, they try to make you feel bad because you don't, you don't know how nice it is? I remember I went to Beverly Hills one time, asked the lady I had to go. I was like, uh, yeah, I gotta go real bad. I was like, can I have the bathroom key? She was like, she was like the what? I said, the key for the bathroom. She was like, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, you're not from around here, are you? It's like, it's safe like Canada, young man. We don't lock our fucking doors around here. The key, go on, it's in the back, the key. So I went back there, I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to piss on myself. I'm about, about to argue with this lady. So I went to push the door open, right? <sighs> Doors open automatically, like Star Trek. Fancy, exquisite, that's my word. That, that gas station whip was exquisite. And then when the smoke cleared, it was a gas station attendant up in there. He had a bow tie, he was well-dressed, it smelled good in there, he had all his teeth. They were doing the most of there. He was candy, uh, cologne, all that shit, just like the club. Helping people wipe and shake and shit, they doing too much. I went to Compton one time. Anybody ever been to Compton? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, don't ever go to this gas station I went to. It was the Arco. I asked to use the bathroom. The bitch just blew a weed smoke right in my face and then slid a gun across the counter. She was like, that gun is mine. I need it back. It's in my name. Just pistol whip him to death if you can. I said, fuck this shit. Fucking pandemic. I hate this shit, man. Glad to be out of the house, too. I'm real glad to be out of the house. You know, go from one bad neighborhood to a new one, so that's cool. <laughs> I have a lot of time to sit and reflect on life during this pandemic. When I say reflect on life, I mean I've been smoking weed, watching movies at home. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Fuck it, shit. I've been reflecting my ass out. Exactly. I got, I'm looking at some of y'all. Some of y'all look like you were reflecting before you came up in here. I was. <laughs> No, but you know, I'm sitting up here, when I watch movies, you know, I don't know if it's just I'm bored of being in the house and my mind works different or if the weed is real good, but I'll be in real deep thought about this bullshit that I'll be watching. Shit that don't even need deep thought. Like, I'm sitting up here watching Popeye. You guys seen Popeye, right? The cartoon, not the movie. And I'm sitting up here thinking about it. I'm deep in thought. I'm like, man, where the fuck does Popeye live? <laughs> 
They don't never say the name of this shanty ass, the shabby town. I was like, I bet he lives in Bakersfield or Fresno, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> Guaranteed. I was like, I know it's a, there's gotta be a shortage of women. What the fuck kind of town is this where two of the biggest, buffest dudes in town is fighting over the same crackhead looking bitch that don't, <laughs> this bitch don't even bother to change her clothes or do her hair. <laughs> Going to blows with another motherfucker? Shit, you can have that bitch. How about that? You can have that bitch. Her name is Olive Oil. That bitch is a stripper. That's not, that's not a name on the birth certificate. She's... <laughs> I think Olive Oil's got some good pussy. That's what it is. Olive Oil. Fucking Popeye. I don't know. Think about that next time you go to Bakersfield or Fresno. It's like, I recognize the water tower. Then I was watching... Uh, they had a marathon for Taken. You guys ever see Taken? Taken. All right, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Uh, <laughs> all right, in this movie, this guy, his, his daughter, she gets taken. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple, pretty simple. And then they got a part two, right? I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, in this one, she gets taken. <laughs> then they got a part three. I don't want to ruin it for you, sir, but the bitch gets taken again. <laughs> now they talk about part four. For what? If they come out with a part four, that movie ought to be like, just take this bitch. That's, that's the name of the movie. Just take the bitch. <laughs> Liam Neeson is father of the year. I mean, his daughter got kids. Do you have kids? You got kids, bro? You do? All right, so you look like a, a grown man. You look like you probably got a gun in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like you <laughs> protect yourself, handle your business. So what I'm saying is, if somebody were to come and harm your family, you're going you gonna to look out for them, right? Let somebody come take your daughter. You're going to go find her, right? Once. <laughs> One time, <laughs> father of the year, this motherfucker, he, he would, man, <laughs> yeah, I got a particular set of, fuck that set of skills, put her on the phone. <laughs> Hello, again, bitch, again? <laughs> Why don't you just stay in the house? <laughs> Where are you going, you know what I'm saying? It's, look, I, ain't, I don't have all this money to be getting all these international flights flying all the way to fuck over 16 hours to come get your ass. <laughs> And then it takes a toll on my mind, killing 19 niggas in one movie, you know what I'm saying? I can't sleep at night, bitch. I don't, th I don't think you respect me as your father. You got me a tie for Father's Day, bitch? I hope your ass is tied up, taken, poof. See that bullshit. <laughs> then I was watching The Grudge. I don't know if anybody's seen The Grudge, but Halloween is coming out, so horror movies are gonna start coming out. It's The Grudge, you know. It's, it ain't really scary. It's just a little Asian chick walk around just, ah. That's, that's all she's got going. She ain't got a knife, she ain't got a gun. <laughs> Bitches in a nightgown, no shoes on, hair on in the face. She can't see, she just, ah. It sounds like this bitch needs some Pepto-Bismol. Is that gas? Ah. But ah, I was watching that movie and I was high as hell. And I was horny, I, I wasn't scared, I was horny. I got a thing for Asian chicks. My dick was hard as hell. I could use that as a weapon. I as hell had the whole evening playing because everybody I'm texting, nobody's texting back, and nobody calling back. I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> She's the last thing on my mind. So I get ready to go walk, walk to the hallway to turn the, the light off. I look down the hallway in my mind, all I see is her coming down with her hair looking all wet like she just came up out of the shower, smelling like herbal essence and peaches and cream and shit. <laughs> that stripper smell, I know you know what I'm talking about, that stripper smell. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She got a little form-fitting negligee on. She ain't all that dry, so it's kind of sticking to her. You know what I'm talking about. Walking right towards the bed. She ain't said a word. Mouth wide open, talking about, ah. I'm going to say the same thing. Be like, ah, I've been waiting for your ass. Lay down right here, bitch. I got something for you. <laughs> when I get through, it ain't going to be a grudge. It's about to be all good in this motherfucker. Do you like that? Do you like that? T period. She gonna talk back, she gonna be like, ah, I like that shit. <laughs> ah, I've never been with a black dude before. <laughs> See, there you go. It's a younger crowd, so I, I can tell you guys are a porno watching crowd. <laughs> See, look at them uncomfortable laughs. That motherfuckers got shit on pause on their cell phones right now. <laughs> porn is cool, it's very educational. I like porn, you know, I, that's where I learned all my little moves from, all of them. All of them. I don't know if you guys know nothing about it, but they, ain't nobody in here invented hitting a girl doggy style with your foot up on the bed, you got your thumb in her ass, and it's going clockwise. You don't learn shit like that on your own. <laughs> Gotta see somebody else do it first. Let me switch it up counterclockwise. She'll fuck around and be like, ah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Telling you. I watch porn, though, but fellas, you know, we, we, it seems like we all try to watch porn. We gotta sneak off and watch some porn. You know, it's, it's not that acceptable. You know, you see crackheads smoking crack on the damn bus, but a motherfucker gotta hide his porn. <laughs> be in the open, you know what I'm saying? 
we always got to, you know, we, all, we always do a little safety check before we go watch porn. We always make sure the door is locked, make sure the dog is fed, make sure the little Brita water filter is half full, you know what I'm saying, because you don't want to fuck it up. And then you got to make sure that the blinds is up and not down, because you can still see in if they down, so you got to have them up. That's some pervert shit. You writing this down? <laughs> Telling you, man, got to sneak off. The worst thing is trying to sneak off and watch some porn and you do all this shit, but you fuck around and forget to check the volume on that shit before you press play. Anybody else do that besides myself? Some fucking liars in here. Some liars in here. Trust me, that shit will scare the erection out of your ass. You, you don't be horny no more after hearing that loud ass shit. I ain't even gonna lie. It happened, to, happened to me a couple days ago. I'm sitting here, I'm gonna tell y'all this story. I'm gonna reflect, all right? It happened a couple days ago, you know, I, you know, I had a couple, couple minutes to, to waste or whatever you want to call it. So uh, I pulled my chair up right to the, to the it, well, it, it, was a, it was like a prototype chair, it was like 2013, it hasn't come out yet, you know, it's got heated seats, a little bathroom on it and shit, you know, it's got a radio massage thing, the works, it's exquisite, that's my word. So I took that chair and I pulled it up to a new prototype uh, keyboard, right? It was, it was a laptop, but it has a virtual keyboard. You can just press a button, like, yeah, go to the site for me right here. It'll go right there for you. So you ain't gotta get nothing on the, on the screen. So I was trying to be incognito, right? I was trying to be quiet as hell, but it seems like, <laughs> seems like whenever you're trying to be quiet and you're watching some porn, like, shit is still loud. Like, the volume is on zero. I still hear this shit. <laughs> and this loud ass mouse, I know everybody in town can hear me clicking and dragging on this motherfucker. <laughs> Everything be loud. So I'm just be trying to make myself comfortable. So I was like, cool, you know, I was trying to be real quiet. Got my towel off my arm, pinky out. Wee wee, monsieur, because I'm fancy with my shit. So I'm looking through, you know, I, I don't like just, you know, watching just any kind of porn. I'm a little particular. So I had to go through a couple of sites. So I was like, cool, this is the one I wrote right here. It was a nice all-American wholesome porno scene. It was a black dude banging a white chick. That's what it was. <laughs> Not everybody laughed. That's what I expected from this crowd. But, um... Yeah, so I was like, cool, this is the scene I want right here. So I looked again, tried to be quiet as hell. So, you know, I looked around, tried to be quiet, pressing play. As soon as I pressed play, first thing I heard was, oh, God, baby, give it to me. Fuck me just like that. Oh, give it to me just like that, baby. Don't stop. Oh, loud. I'm talking way louder than this, 10 times louder than this shit. I'm talking home theater surround sound. Shit was loud. This shit was so loud that everybody else had been the best buy with me had turned around and looked at my black ass like I was crazy. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck though. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm shameless. I pulled my pants up and ran smooth up out of there. Manag manager gonna try to make me feel uncomfortable. You know how one door is out, the other one is in, so he gonna stand right in the middle like this. You know, because I gotta pass by him trying to eyeball me. I didn't give a damn, I'm eyeballing him. As soon as I'm bucking in my pants, I'm eyeballing his ass. As soon as I get close enough, I look him dead in his eye. I'm like, I don't know why you tripping, man. I'm not even clocked in. I'm still on break. <laughs> the fucker fired me on the spot, man. So anybody hiring, you got a business, hire, hire my ass, y'all. You've been a good crowd. Enjoy the rest of the night. My name is Ryan Reeves. I'm out of here. I will see y'all soon. Yeah. This has been a Funny Media Group production.